the kung fu fighting monks of China's Shaolin Temple are the stuff of martial legend. Renowned for their neck snapping fighting techniques and superhuman endurance, Shaolin monks were China's first special forces. But in the 21st century, Shaolin's warrior monks are striking out on a new path in a new world. Enter the dragon. Shi Yan Ming, a 34th generation fighting monk. The first Shaolin monk to defect from China, he now lives in New York City. Following the warrior tradition, Yan Ming has mastered extreme physical feats enduring training akin to torture. Yet, while he embraces pain, his message is peace. Peace. Teaching the way of the spiritual warrior to celebrity followers such as hip hop artists, actors, and rappers, Yan Ming is turning an Eastern tradition into a Western sensation. Yo, shit, how? You know what I mean? Peace, love, yo. He's made Kung Fu fly on the streets of New York, bringing Shaolin to the West in one giant leap. City. Fast living, big business, hard luck. A make or break town where today's up and coming could be tomorrow's down and out. In such a city, one man has found a path of enlightenment. He is Shi Fu Shi Yan Ming. There's something very unique and special about this person. Um, Shifu Xian Ming. He's a teacher, he's a, he's a goofball, he's a child, he's a sage, you know, he's, uh, he's so many things. They call me a uh, handsome monk, so good looking monk, and drunken monk, and beautiful monk, and they, whatever they want to call. I've seen him break bricks and other stuff, but I haven't seen him crack a nut on his head. I want to see that, then I'll believe he's mythical. <laughs> Yan Ming's story is a unique version of the American dream. Born into a poor family in rural China, Yan Ming entered the Shaolin Temple at the age of five. Taking the vows of a monk, Yan Ming became an accomplished martial artist and one of the most legendary warrior monks of the modern era. In 1992, he became the first martial monk to ever defect from China and create a Shaolin sensation in the city of New York. Since setting up his temple in a loft in downtown Manhattan, Yan Ming has been teaching Buddhism and Shaolin martial arts to New Yorkers. Kung Fu students are taught acrobatic kicks and empty hand forms of fighting. Push. What? I don't hear you. It's getting more handsome. Push. I teach my people. We celebrate 365 days. Every day is Christmas. Every day is New Year. Because the life is so beautiful. Being a Shaolin monk in Manhattan has attracted plenty of followers. He has rubbed shoulders with Hollywood elite and some of the best and brightest in the music world. Many celebrities call him Shi Fu to signify he is their master. Yan Ming has become a fixture on the hip hop scene. Some have even labeled him as the hip hop monk. Go! <sighs> Come on, come on. 101! Celebrities often come to train at the USA Shaolin Temple, but they're not given any special treatment. Three, four, five. The training that I do with Shifu is the hardest workout I've ever done. It's the hardest workout I ever will do. Uh, I've boxed, I've done some basic kickboxing. 
I used to do weight training from the time I was 14 years old. If I were to box all day, lift weights all day, and practice basic kicks all day, it wouldn't compare to that first hour training Shaolin. When I started st studying with Yang Ming, because it was it was I was doing a movie called uh, King of the Jungle, and Rosie Perez said I'm taking kung fu with, with this this master from you know the Shaolin Temple, and it was something really zen and beautiful about it that really struck me, and it was still very physical. I mean, it's still there it was a masterful quality to it, and and so I started taking classes. When I first asked Sifu, well, how would I begin to train? And he says, no problem. I, I will show you a position. You can hold it. I will have you go home and hold that position for four hours each day for one month. Then you come back, and I give you the next one. Like, wow. Man, I have so much respect for, for his disciples and students and how much they do train and, wow, how much they give of themselves. It doesn't matter if you're a, a thug or a cop or you work on Wall Street or what. If you come into that the temple, um, Sifu, will, it, you know, he, he, he's an, a nurturing kind of spirit. There's nothing judgmental. Martial arts, there's a kind of grace and discipline that isn't just about, like, bludgeoning somebody, you know? To watch Yang Ming do his thing, it was just, you're like, wow, he just watched the master. It was so powerful, so precise. It's like watching a panther, you know, it is really like watching a sort of a powerful cat because it's sort of stealth and precise and ready to pounce, but there's no, like, tension anywhere, you know, in the body, it's just all ready. In his homeland, Yan Ming was known as a Shaolin hero. Having won the Shaolin Championship three years in a row, the Chinese government declared this Kung Fu boy wonder a national treasure. Because of his good looks and razor-sharp Kung Fu, he was chosen to travel to America as a part of the inaugural Shaolin demonstration team. Yan Ming became one of the first warrior monks to ever travel to the United States. I left China 1992 to perform in the United States. I believe that, that was a destiny brought me here. It was a destiny that Yan Ming was ready to seize. On his final day of the tour, in the city of San Francisco, he made a decision that would change his life forever. After last performing, went back to the hotel. I, I talked to 